in previous class we discussed the what is now now can be divided into different types that topic is over now we have got some command over now okay you have to remember that nouns especially proper nouns should be written with capital letter but not all the nouns should not be with the capital letter the topic is over now today we are going to discuss pronoun now after next point is pronoun what is mean by pronoun a pronoun is a word which is used in place of a noun in place of a noun means instead of a noun in place of a noun means instead of a noun now one example we see geeta is a good girl Geeta respects ah now here two sentences i wrote here what is that geeta is a good girl geeta respects ah see who is geeta geeta is now and in next sentence who is geeta geeta is now now we are speaking only one person about whom about geeta means geeta is a good girl in place of this we can use a word why because if you write uh, this is as a sentence means single sentence means geeta is a good girl she respects all we can write this means i used uh, in the above sentence Geeta, Geeta, two times. Who respects her? Geeta respects her. Okay. What kind of girl she is? She is a good girl. Means Geeta and Geeta. Two times I mentioned her in above. But now in below sentence I mention only one sir. What is that? Geeta is a good girl. She respects all. Who is she? She refers to Geeta. Means in above sentence. Geeta, Geeta, two times mentioned. Uh, means noun repeated, but in below sentence, the uh, noun is not repeated. In place of noun, I wrote one word. Uh, that word is she. Now she is pronoun. Why? In place of noun, a word which is used. Uh, that word is called a pronoun. I define that. What is that? A pronoun is a word. Which is used in place of a noun. In place of a noun means Geeta. In place, I wrote the word as she. So Geeta is noun, but she is not noun. It is pronoun. Why? In place of Geeta, I replace it with a word. That word is she. Now she is called a pronoun. One more sentence we see. Suman is a clever boy. Suman got twentieth rank in polytechnic. Now see here again I wrote uh, two times Suman and Suman. Who got twentieth rank in polytechnic? Suman got. What kind of boy he is? Clever boy. Who is clever boy? Suman is clever boy. Means. This is the sentence speaking about Suman, and this is the sentence speaking about Suman too. So that's why, in two sentences we are speaking about a single person. His name is Suman. Means noun is Suman. That's why we can replace the Suman word once. Means we can write Suman is a clever boy. Full stop. And Suman in place we can replace with another word. What a uh, Suman is male. So we can write he. Geeta is female. We wrote he or she. Okay. Suman is male. We can write he. He got twentieth rank in polytechnic. 
Now, see, Suman is known. Okay, in place of Suman, I wrote here he. Means we can consider this as a pronoun. Why? Because in place of noun, I wrote here he. Means this is called pronoun. Now we understood. This pronoun can be divided into different types. What are they? They are personal pronouns, reflexive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, indefinite pronouns, interrogative pronouns, distributive pronouns, reciprocal pronouns, related pronouns. Now one see, one see. What is that? Personal pronouns, reflexive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, indefinite pronouns. Indefinite means not definite. Interrogative pronouns, distributive pronouns, reciprocal pronouns, relative pronouns. These are the different type of pronouns. Means we have discussed in previous class noun and different kinds. What is concrete and what is abstract, and also concrete is subdivided into different types. We learn as in the same way pronoun can be divided into different parts. What they are? Personal pronouns. Reflexive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, indefinite pronouns, interrogative pronouns, distributive pronouns, reciprocal pronouns, and related pronouns. Now we take the first point. What is that? Personal pronouns. What is personal pronoun? We are going to discuss. I think uh, you understood. What is the definition of pronoun? A word which is used in place of a noun is called a pronoun. Simple thing. If you write anything in place of noun. If you replace it, that word is called pronoun. Okay, a pronoun is a word which is used in place of a noun. Okay, now we are going to see the first type, personal pronouns. Now, personal pronouns, personal pronouns is there, clearly you can understand, a pronoun which is used to indicate a person is called personal pronoun within the name, okay, the definition is there, inside the term we can observe the personal pronoun means it stands for persons, it stands for persons. A pronoun which is stand for person is called personal pronoun. Very easy. What is that? A pronoun which stands for persons is called personal pronoun. Okay. Now, especially personal pronouns has three persons. What they are? First person, second person, third person. Now what is mean by first person? First person means the person speaking. The person speaking. Second person, the person spoken to. And the third person is the person Spoken of. I think you understood. First person means the person speaking. The person speaking means you know what are the first persons? The first persons are here. These has singulars and plurals. Singular I plural we. These two persons are used to refer persons. I this word is used in place of a noun that is a pronoun this is personally we are using to indicate persons that's why it is called personal pronoun but it is the singular form this is the plural form what is I? it is the first person singular number what is we? it is the plural form of first person means first person singular number I plural number we okay what is first person? First person is the person speaking. Now I am speaking. I am first person. Okay. Now, now I am speaking means I am the first person. Means I. Okay. Or we. 
but v is plural i is singular okay first person singular means you have to say i plural that means we next one second person what is mean by second person the person spoken to means second person is you these are the examples okay you is the second person you for plural noun again you you is the singular as well as plural singular as well as plural and now third person what is third person the person spoken of what they are he she it as well as plural form is they okay he she it they they is a plural form he she it is singular forms but what about second person singular you plural you third person singular he she it plural they here plural we okay these are the personal pronouns now personal pronoun are there the pronoun sequence is called what is the pronoun sequence or sequence of the pronouns sequence of the pronoun you have to remember this why because we can accept expect one question in correction of sentences what kind of question we can expect on the sequence of pronoun it is also known as pronoun r means if you want to write a sentence or if you write a sentence if the three persons comes in a sentence what about the order the order should be like this first we have to mention second person next we have to mention third person and then finally we have to mention first person means first we have to write second person next we have to write third person and finally you have to write first person this is the sequence of pronoun if you can't understand i'll take an example then you come to understand very easily what is that second person third person and first person if the three persons comes in a sentence we may confuse that's why to get the clarity i wrote here a sequence of the pronoun what is that sequence is second person first we have to write next to third person and finally we have to write first person means you have to keep uh, in your mind uh, with this number two refers two number three refers three number one refers one number 231 is code point uh, code one code uh, if you remember if you keep in your mind you can complete uh, means you can expect uh, the sequence in correction of sentences one example is see i and the he must attend the party i think uh, there is a correction in this part in underlined part what is the correction i and he the underlined part uh, in here you can get a correction point what is that i and here i and he what is the other first we have to write a uh, second person next we have to write third one next we have to write first person but in this sentence how many persons he mentioned uh, one i and the one is he means two pronouns we can see i he i he i means it is first person he means it is third person means what is the other third person first we have to write then we have to write second person first we have to write third person what is the other here not uh, three pronouns here mentioned only two pronouns has come that's why what is before we have to write uh, he after i we have to write uh, then the sentence will be right he and i must attend the party now the above sentence is wrong sentence the below sentence is right sentence one more sentence he you and i must go to class in this the wrong 
here. You can find the correction here. What are he, you, and I? What is you? You is a pronoun. It is the second person. What is I? I is a pronoun. It is first person. He, he is a pronoun. It is the third person. What is the order? See, third, second, first. Third, second, first is wrong sequence. What is the right sequence? Third, first we have right. Means he first we have right. Then what we have right? Uh, he after means third one or second one. Second one we have right. What is that? You. Okay. You second. What is the code? Two thirty one. Two means second person. What is second person here? You. So you. And next one. Next one is third person. Third means he. Means you he you he. Next one is and I. You he and I must go to class. Now this is right sentence. This is the wrong sentence. Means on sequence of the pronoun we can expect to unmark in correction of sentence. This is the point you have to remember. And next one we are going to discuss reflexive pronouns. Now see personal pronoun table will be there here. Here personal pronouns are different. Okay. What objective pronouns will be there? Subjective pronouns will be there. Okay. Possessive predicative pronouns are will be there. Okay. These are different. Okay. To identify, we are learning only what is pronoun. How to identify pronoun? Now we learn the pronoun. Next, uh, another pronoun we are going to discuss. That is reflexive pronoun. Now the second one is reflexive pronouns. What are reflexive pronouns? It is nothing but very simple point. A personal pronoun plus self form. Our zelf form means the personal pronoun is plural. We have to add zelf to it. To it, okay. If the personal pronoun is singular, we have to add self. Then they become a reflexive pronoun. What is that? Personal pronoun plus self or zelf is equal to reflexive pronoun. Means reflexive pronouns will form personal pronouns added with the self or zelf. For example. I for personal pronoun myself, my plus self, my plus self. It becomes myself. I for myself, my plus self, and you for your self. Or it becomes yourselves too. Means yourself. Or you are zels means zels a point is for plural why because I already told you you is the singular as well as you is also plural in that sense uh, you are for if you add self it becomes singular you are for if you add zels it becomes plural means yourself you are zels okay him plus self uh, it becomes himself. Him self. Next, uh, her plus self uh, herself. Okay. Next one. It plus self uh, itself. They for them plus I is plural. We have to add uh, zels. It becomes them zels. Means now we understood that all the self and zels forms. Means a pronoun which ends with self or zels, they are all called a reflexive pronouns. One thing you have to keep in your mind: a pronoun which ends with self or zels, that is called reflexive pronoun. A reflexive pronoun always that is substitutes for nouns. Sometimes it emphasizes something. It emphasizes and it substitutes both. Means reflexive pronouns do the actions too. One is it substitutes for noun and the duties. It is 
for emphasis for example what are the substitutes and what are the emphasizes okay i did it myself here i is the subject it is the object object after in predicative form we can see myself means it is we are writing object place means after the object if comes and means in the predicative form if self form or self form self form comes it is called a what it is called a substitute it is called a substitute means it substitutes substitutes a for nouns and next one she hurts herself means here after verb it has come means it is and it is both are in the predicative form if a reflexive pronouns we are writing at the end of the sentence means there's a duty is a substitution or substitutes for noun that is the duty of it means a pronoun which comes at the end of the sentence is doing its duty as substitutes means reflexive pronouns duty is to what they are the duties are one duty is it is substitutes for nouns for example i did it myself where is the myself myself we are writing in predicate she hurts herself this is also we are writing in predicate these are called uh, reflexive pronouns but uh, they are writing at the end of the sentence now here it is the substitution for noun this is reflexive pronoun and this is in another example you can see i myself did it here it is emphasizing something emphasis it is emphasis i myself did it i myself did it here i did it myself here i myself did it i myself did it means we are emphasizing the action we are emphasizing the action means here this is and uh, this is means he himself scolded he himself scolded here himself and myself these two are also reflexive pronouns but the duty has changed here what is the duty here now myself is not in place of predicate it is after the subjects now the duty has changed maybe they are the reflexive pronouns this is the reflexive pronoun and this is the reflexive pronoun but the duty has changed what is in above examples the reflexive pronoun duty is substitutes for nouns in this examples the reflexive pronoun doing its duty as emphasizing or emphasis duty is doing okay this is